okay? starting with example one. Assume that eye color and height are inherited in a simple Mendelian manner. The alleles for eye color are represented by big B and little b, with brown eye color dominant. So I'm going to start doing some notes. Big B is brown, dominant, and blue eye color is recessive, so little b is blue. The alleles for height are represented by big T and little t, with tall height dominant, and short height recessive. If a man and a woman are heterozygous for both traits and they have a child, so we have a man who is heterozygous for both traits, and he and a woman who is heterozygous for both traits have a child, what is the probability that he or she will be short and have blue eyes, short with blue eyes. And what is the probability the child will be tall and have brown eyes? Well, short and blue eyes. Since these, we're assuming simple Mendelian inheritance, these assort, traits assort independently. They're independent events, and I can use my multiplication rule. So first I'm just going to address short. Chances of being short. Well, height is TT times TT. Dad is a heterozygote. Mom's a heterozygote. And in order to be short, the child would have to have both little t, little t. What are the chances that the father will donate a little t? Well, one out of two. What are the chances that the mother will donate a little t? One out of two. What are the chances that the father and the mother will donate little t? So and, the chance of both those events occurring, one quarter. We multiply. All right. That's the chances of being short. The chances of being blue-eyed, same by the same logic. So for the blue eyes, little b, little b is blue. The chances of inheriting the blue-eyed allele from the father, one half. The chance of inheriting the blue-eyed allele from the mother, one half. The chance of inheriting both, this and this, are one fourth. Now, I want to know the chance that this individual will be short and have blue eyes. The chances of being short are one fourth. The chances of having blue eyes are one fourth. So the chances of being short and the chance of being blue eyed multiply, it's one sixteenth. So that's the chance of having the genotype little t, little t, little b, little b. And if you look back at your Punnett square for a dihybrid cross, you'll see that this is indeed correct. What is the probability that the child will be tall and have brown eyes? Well, actually, we're going to do this one another way. There's a quicker way to do this. Recall the phenotypic ratio 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 for a dihybrid cross. This um, would be dominant, dominant, so tall brown. It's the 9. And here we have what we just saw. We could have done it this way as well. Short with blue eyes, I see is 1 out of a total of 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 1 out of 16, we said short and blue. Tall and brown, the chances are 9 out of 16, because they're asking me phenotype, not genotype. So I can just do it this way. Chances of tall with brown eyes are 9 out of 16. Chances of short with blue eyes are 1 out of 16. 